Hello, in this OpenGL video, we are going to be looking at setting up OpenGL using SFML and GLEW on a Windows machine. If you're interested in SFML and GLEW for OpenGL development but on a Mac, don't worry, we already have a video for that in our playlist, so feel free to check that out. Okay. First of all, what is SFML? It's the simple and fast multimedia library. It allows us to do stuff like handle or render windows where we will draw our OpenGL2, that's what the user sees, handle stuff like events such as keyboard inputs, mouse inputs, that sort of stuff. It allows us to handle textures. We won't be handling textures using something like SFML. We'll be using an external image library so it's cross engine, cross platform, and all of that other good stuff so first of all before we start actually getting on with the meat of this tutorial so I want to say a few prerequisites obviously make sure you have a Windows machine make sure you have a good foundation in C++ programming There's so many people I come across that try and do OpenGL which is admirable but it is it isn't the easiest thing to learn and you do need C++, so I recommend you have a good foundation in C++ and in programming in general. Now with that out of the way, first of all we need to download SFML and GLEW. Also make sure you've got Visual Studio installed. For Visual Studio, if you just type in Visual Studio, I've got the community version, if you just make sure you've got that downloaded. And yeah, once you got Visual Studio installed, it's self explanatory to start the latest one. It'll be all good to go. Then type in SFML into Google, go to the SFML website, download latest stable version, select whatever Visual C version matches well your Visual Studio version. For me, it's 2015, so I would have either 32 bit or 64 bit. I've already downloaded it, so I won't be downloading it again. In terms of which one to choose, 32 or 64 bit, in development, general rule of thumb on desktop style development is unless you need 64 bit, use, six, use 32 bit. 64 bit are really only used if I need for more than 4 gig of RAM, whereas unless you're creating a AAA title, chances are you all you will need is the 32-bit version so once I would click here download that that will give me a zip file once we've done that go to GLEW let's go to the website and let's download that as well just something to note all of the links required will be in the description so you don't need to type them out or remember them you can just check them out from there so once you've downloaded it what you want to do is actually extract it and put it in a folder that you're happy with and what I mean by that is this project and probably other projects that you create that use OpenGL and SFML and GLEW in some form or another will be referencing these particular files so you don't want to have to reset up your projects every time because you're moving your files around so I'll put it in a folder called OpenGL on my C drive Got GLEW and SFML extracted, and I've removed any sort of version name in the folder name simply because it's just easy to read that way. So you've got GLEW, got SFML. So once you've got all of that done, we're actually ready to create a Visual Studio project. So I'm going to type in Visual Studio 2015, go to New Project. I'm going to go to Visual C++, Win32, Win32 console applications. If, for whatever reason, Visual C++ isn't installed, you might get some sort of option like this. You might say install Visual C++ tools. Let's go through the process of doing that and you'll be all ready to go. So once you've got the tools installed, like I said, you want to go to Win32 console application. For the name, I'm going to type in SFML OpenGL. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click next, empty project, remove security development lifecycle, click finish. Right click your project, not the solution, the project here. Go to add new item, main.cpt. You want to do this before we start changing 
the properties of our project because certain properties are only available when we have a code file here. So if you right click your project again, go to properties this time, go to all configuration, make sure all configuration, I mean configuration, make sure all configurations is selected. For the platform, choose active Win32 and go to C, C++, general, additional include directories, click the drop down, click edit, click new, click the three dots and in the pop-up menu, go to wherever you've extracted GREW in here, open the include folder, select folder, new, three dots, go to wherever you've put SFML and go to include, select folder, okay. Now go to linker, general, go to additional library directories, click the drop down, click edit, click new, three dots, Again, same process or very similar process. Go to GREW, go to lib, go to release, then the platform 32 bit or 64 bit. Again, like I said, unless you need 64 bit, stick with 32 bit. Now click new again. And finally, we need the SFML library. Click OK and go to linker input additional dependencies in here you want to type in open g l 32.lib this is built into windows so this isn't from any of the folders or files that we've downloaded next you want to put glue 32.lib let me just show you something if i go to glue Live release. So we got the glue 32lib One recommendation I would say always have a look at the library folders, see what the files are named because you might use GRE the view in this video and oh, I mean you might watch this video I don't know, in six months, new GRE the view version might be out and they may have changed the naming slightly. That happens. So I would just recommend making sure the name is correct. One with the S at the end is the library for statically linking. If you want to statically linking, just select this one. And there's this one particular line of code you would have to add. And I'll show you that just so you know. So next, we want to add the SFML libs. There's three libs that we want to add. Can't quite remember the exact spelling. So I'm going to go to SFML lib. And from here, you want graphics, you want system, and you want window. So for graphics, we're gonna select this one right here. So we got graphics, we got the static one as well. So if you want the static one, feel free to use the static one. But I'm gonna be using the regular one. Oh, I don't wanna add, open the PDB file. So let's copy and paste this here. And let's change some of the properties. So we need to have system, we need to have window. Okay, so now the project in terms of the properties has been set up. The last process before we can actually start coding is to go to GRW, bin, release, Win32 or whatever version you're using. Copy this dynamic link library to your project. Go to wherever the main.cpp file is. Right click, paste it here. Then go back to SFML. Go to bin. From here, you want graphics-2, system-2, and window-2. If you had the dash D library, you would have the dash D DLL, so let's copy that, go to SFML right here, paste it, and now we are actually ready to start coding. So what I'm going to do is click view, view full screen so we can see it a bit better. First of all, let's do hash include IO stream, then we're going to do hash include GL 
GLEW. And if you wanted to statically link GLEW before this hash include line, you would put hash define GLEW underscore static, and that would statically link GLEW. We're going to be omitting this line, it's not really of much importance. We're going to do hash include SFML window.hpp. Now we're going to do const gl int width equals 600, I mean 800, sorry, height equals 600. So you might be wondering why are we using a gl int instead of an integer? Simple reason is a integer has different sizes on different compilers, so it's hard to de determine the maximum value essentially. Whereas a GeoInt is consistent, simple as that. The reason we're creating constant global variables is so we can easily use these wherever we need to use the width and the height, whether that's initially creating the window, whether that's manipulating some sort of shape so it's the size of the window, whatever it is. This will allow us to do that. Next, we want to do int main, not ubd, that's definitely not it, int. First line is sf context settings and name is settings. So this is going to contain some of the settings that we're setting for our application and window. So we're going to put settings dot depth bits. We're going to assign this to 28. Settings are stencil bits equals 8. Now settings dot major version equals free settings dot minor version equals free settings dot attribute flags equals sf colon colon context settings colon colon core okay now let's explain some of these lines major version and minor version are setting the open gr version so this is 3.3 I were to put a 1 in the minor version that will be 3.1 so major version is to the left of the decimal point minor version is to the right of the decimal point this doesn't explicitly set a result I mean a version for OpenGL what it does is more act as a hint so it says oh we want version 3.3 and if the computer for whatever reason can't supply you 3.3 your choices supply you a different one so next part is the setting dot attribute flags and we've set that to this sf context settings core this is just saying we're using core opengl and not compatibility opengl which is the old immediate mode stuff we are using the new modern opengl once you've got that out of the way you want to do sf colon colon window on a call it window and now let's just initialize it in line in here we're going to put sf colon colon video mode and we're going to put width height 32 for the the pixel depth comma i'm going to put open gl sfml the title and now we're going to put sf colon colon style colon colon title bar and now we're going to put sf colon colon style colon colon close comma setting which we created before but this is just saying one second this is just saying we're going to have a title bar and a close button. Very, very simple stuff. Next, we're going to do GLEW experimental equals GL underscore true. GL experimental just allows us to use extensions. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I explained in this video what GLEW is. It's the OpenGL extension wrangler. Which allows you to easily use OpenGL extensions 
without having to explicitly include them, etc., etc. And it's cross-platform. So yeah, it allowed you to use new OpenGL functions. Then once we've set that to true, you what you want to do is if GL EW underscore OK not equal to GL EW init. So this is initializing GLEW right here, and if it's unsuccessful, then in here we're going to do std colon colon c out fail to initialize GLEW std n9, and now we're going to do return exit underscore failure because it has failed and now we're going to do create a variable called bool equals true Okay, let's continue. I was, sorry there, I just went blank for a moment. I, I was going to edit this little sort of, I don't know, 5, 10 second blank. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened there. But I thought I'll leave it in there. It might make you laugh. So, once you've done the bool running, you're going to create a while loop. And this while loop, let me start correctly. And in here, we're going to put while running. So it's basically going to be always running until, well, it's not running. I'm going to put sf colon colon event, window event, semicolon. And in here, we're going to put while window.pull event, window event. And what we're going to do is... In here, we're going to do switch window event dot type and we're going to switch on case sf event colon colon close colon. And what we're going to do in is going to put running equals false, and we're going to break out of this loop. So this is just saying if the window is closed, essentially we are going to stop running our application and break out of our loop. So now in the while running loop, so out of this loop, we're going to do gl clear or the clear color. First value, we're going to provide 0.2f, then 0.3f, 0.3f again, then 1.0f. So this is just going to be changing, clearing the color of the background because by default it's black and that is very boring. So this is red, green, blue, and alpha. This range, these values, I should say, range between 0 and 1, very similar to something like 0 to 255. So zero being nothing and one being fully on. Next, we're going to clear the screen so you can open GL can be drawn again. So you put GL clear, and in here you pass in GL underscore color underscore buffer bit, and now here you would draw some open GL. Not going to be drawing open GL in this video. That will be covered in a separate video. Now you put window dot display. This is just going to swap out the front and back buffers when available. Then outside of the entire loop, you, you want to do window dot close. So once it hits here, the the game loop has stopped, and therefore we're closing the window and returning exit underscore success. So put a semicolon, and now I'm ready to run this. 
So let's go off that, run it, let's see how many errors we get. Okay, zero errors and we have our window that has popped up. That's it. That is it for setting up OpenGL using SFML for the render window and GLEW to manage the extension for OpenGL. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link in the description to that. Plus, there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.